Hello everyone, this is Movie Storm, and today we will tell you about the new movie, The Equalizer 3. It all starts with the presentation of Lorenzo Vitali, who arrives in Sicily with his grandson. There, he asks the boy to sit in the car, as his gang was attacked, and only a few survived. In the basement, a former US military solder, Robert McCall, is sitting. Lorenzo asks why he came here, to which he replies that Lorenzo has something he shouldn't have. Suddenly, Robert launches an attack, eliminating everyone except the grandson, who shoots him in the back, but even then, Robert doesn't harm the boy and lets him escape. As night falls, Robert's strength runs out, and he also passes out. In this state, he is found by a local sergeant, Gio, who takes him to Dr. Enzo, who is interested, Gio saved a good or bad person. After three days of treatment, Robert gets back on his feet. During a walk, he meets a waitress, named Amina, who serves the best coffee in town. Gio notices him, and gives him the keys to his car. Later that night, Robert calls the CIA, to provide information about a winery in Sicily, operating on the black market. And after the call, he smashes the phone. Over the next few days, he learns about the Italian mafia, operating in the town, extorting money from sellers. One of the victims is Angelo, but their plans are much larger, involving building expensive hotels and a gambling business in the city. Those who oppose their property acquisitions are marked for elimination. During dinner, Robert offers his help with housework, and at sunrise, he goes to the market to buy fish at Angelo's store, but he refuses to take his money. He's just glad that Enzo has new friend. Meanwhile, CIA agents act on Robert's tip and arrive at the winery, where they find a lot of money and illegal goods. While Enzo tends to his wounds, Robert asks why he decided to help him, instead of involving the police or medical assistance. Enzo reminds him of his initial question, and since Robert remained silent, he is likely a good person. The next day, Robert plans to leave town, but he comes across Angelo's destroyed store. It was the work of gangsters, who still haven't received their money. Robert decides to stay and help extinguish the fire. While at the police station, Gio reviews security camera footage and requests information on a car parked near the store. With each passing day, Robert strengthens his friendship with the locals, including Amina, and the growing influence of the gang worries him. One day, he notices Emma, who is secretly filming him, and offers to choose a better angle. Emma wants to know where Robert got information about the winery. However, he answers too vaguely, and before leaving, Emma mentions his name, surprising him. Somewhere in the city, Gio receives a call from an unknown caller, who says that Gabi's lessons ended a bit early. Gio tries to figure out where his daughter is. Her teacher saw her being taken away by another officer. By this time, the whole family is in captivity, and if Gio continues to investigate, his entire family will be eliminated. Robert notices that Gio has blood on him, and Enzo explains that the Kimura is behind it, a gang that poisons the city. That evening, the gang returns to Gio with an order to hide their records. Robert watches closely and offers to leave the family alone. Marco hints that these matters do not concern him, but Robert calmly warns that if they don't move their business to another city, they will have problems. With just one push, Marco loses the ability to speak and runs away. Before they could devise a revenge plan, Robert arrives first and eliminates all of them. The next morning, a bomb explodes in Rome. Emma gathers all the data and concludes that the Camorra gang is behind it. Determined to solve the case, she begins interrogating the Camorra gang while simultaneously requesting access to the police. Unaware that the police chief will attend Marco's funeral and leak all the data to the gang leader. Later, Robert calls Emma with information about the Camorra's involvement in the cartel that attacked Rome. Thanks to the call, she stops avoiding the bomb. She is immediately taken to the hospital where she tells Frank everything she knows, and he promises to complete the operation. That evening, Vincent takes Joe's family hostage, just at that moment, Robert comes to the rescue, and before Vincent pulls the trigger, the townspeople turn on their phones, forcing the bandits to escape. On the same night, Robert infiltrates Vincent's mansion, eliminating everyone in his path. Eventually, he confronts Vincent, forcing him to accept his own goods. In the end, Vincent is killed by his own product. Afterward, Robert visits Emma with a small gift, in the form of a bag, filled with money. It's the pension savings of someone, named Greta Dyer, 
which were stolen because of the Kimura. Some times later, Emma finds Mr. Dyer, and hands over the money. He asks, why a stranger is giving him money, but even Emma doesn't know. Time passes, and a package is delivered to the CIA headquarters for Emma, from Robert. Inside, she finds her mother's old diary. And finally, she realizing, that Robert is an old friend of her parents. This is where the movie comes to an end. Now, we'd like to hear how you rate this film. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments, or recommend something interesting. See you soon.